The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is, he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. Welcome to the daily prayer service from St. John's Church, Edinburgh. My name is Phil and I'm joined by Wren, my husband. We thank you so much for joining us. Today we commemorate John Charles Roper, who was Archbishop of Ottawa in the early years of the 20th century and a servant of Christ whose leadership was honoured by Anglicans in Canada and around the world. He was an Englishman who went to Canada in 1886 as the first Keeble Professor of Divinity at Trinity College in Toronto. Two years later he was appointed Vicar of St Thomas's Church in that city and began his long association with the Sisters of St John the Divine as their chaplain. He moved to New York where he taught at the General Theological Seminary for over a decade but returned to Canada in 1911 when he was elected Bishop of British Columbia. Four years later he was elected Bishop of Ottawa where he was installed on this date in 1915. He eventually became Metropolitan of the Ecclesiastical Province of Ontario, an office which gave him the title of Archbishop. Roper possessed not only a keen mind and sound scholarship, but also an ability to translate ideas into practical action. This gift gave him unique influence in the councils of the Canadian Church as it dealt with its revision of the prayer book in 1918 and felt the social impact of the Great Depression in the 1930s. He also had an important role at international gatherings of Anglican bishops and played a distinguished part at the Lausanne Conference on Faith and Order in 1927 which was a step towards the foundation of the World Council of Churches. But most of all, Archbishop Roper was a man of deep and constant prayer who placed his spiritual resources at the disposal of all the people in his diocese, that they might be strengthened in their own service of Christ and one another. And it is for this faithful stewardship of God's gifts as much as for his great public influence, that we honour him today. Let us worship with the words from Psalm 40. You have multiplied, O Lord my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts towards us. None can compare with you. Were I to pro proclaim and tell of them, they would be more than can be counted. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire, but you have given me an open ear. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. Then I said, Here I am. In the scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O my God. Your law is within my heart. I have told the glad news of deliverance in the great congregation. See, I have not restrained my lips, as you know, O Lord. I have not hidden your saving help within my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your steadfast love and your faithfulness from the great congregation. Do not, O Lord, withhold your mercy from me. Let your steadfast love and your faithfulness keep me safe forever. Let us pray. Eternal God, you laid your hand upon John Roper and made him a bishop and servant of your people to give them true nurture in Christ. Grant us unity in faith, steadfastness in hope and constancy in love, that by word and deed we may show ourselves true members in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ. 
who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Ezekiel. For thus says the Lord God, I myself will search for my sheep and will seek them out, as shepherds seek out their flocks when they are among their scattered sheep. So I will seek out my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places to which they have been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness. I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries and will bring them into their own land. And I will feed them on the mountains of Israel, by the watercourses and in all the inhabited parts of the land. I will feed them with good pasture and the mountain heights of Israel shall be their pasture. There they shall lie down in good grazing land and they shall feed on rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep, and I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. I will seek the lost, and I will bring back the strayed, and I will bind up the injured, and I will strengthen the weak. But the fat and the strong I will destroy. I will feed them with justice. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. On this Friday, we pray for healing, healing of bodies, minds and souls, healing of relationships with God and with one another, healing of society and of all creation. As the nation celebrates Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee, we pray for our monarch and all the royal family. We continue to pray for the people of Ukraine, for those remaining in their country and for those seeking safety elsewhere. And so we pray using words from an ancient Eastern Orthodox prayer of intercession. Be mindful, O Lord, of your people, those who attend worship and of those who are absent through age, sickness or adversity. Care for the infants. Guide the young. Support the aged. Encourage the faint-hearted. Collect the scattered. Bring back the wandering to your fold. Travel with the voyagers. Defend the widows. Shield the orphans. Deliver the captives. 
heal the sick. Succor all who are in tribulation, necessity, or distress. Remember for good all those who love us and those who hate us, and those who have desired us, unworthy as we are, to pray for them, and those whom we have forgotten. Lord, remember. Grant unto each according to your merciful loving kindness and your eternal love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia.